student shall be victimized for participating in this protest. As part of the national shutdown, Rhodes University students gathered by the drama department. The protest started on the 19th of October 2015 and students at universities across South Africa united and took part in the Fees Must Fall campaign. Lelo Macheke, also known as the Suburban Zulu, which is the name of his blog, spoke to our journalists about the kind of work he does and his role in the protests. Primarily, my business is writing. Anything that has to do with words, I'm there. I'm like a mini wordsmith kind of thing. You know, I just want to write and, you know, have people read my stuff and just engage. And then that's when Suburban Zulu came out as a blog. Initially, the students at Rhodes were uncertain about taking part in the protests because it commenced during their SWAT week. Macheke played an influential role as he mobilized the students on campus to take part in the protests through his social media activities. I think, I think what I was basically trying to get at in my post at the time was trying to make people understand why First of all, there are protests in the first place. Why protest is a means of expression to expressing a need, um, to expressing some sort of deprivation. One of Macheke's prominent points on social media was to get people to understand why these protests were taking place and why students were desperate to get attention. That is to say that my situation is as important as what you see in terms of your situation. You may be in your bed or at your desk and you're studying and you're in a position to not worry about whether or not you're going to be able to come back due to fees, whether or not you're going to be able to study effectively and pass your exams because you don't have the right resources or you don't, you don't have means to acquire the right resources. To some extent, Macheke was pleased with the outcome of the protests. However, he mentions that it was difficult getting authoritative figures involved, knowing well that authoritative figures would give a major boost to the protests. The thing that bothered me the most about the protest in relation to getting uh, tangible answers and agreements and engagements from the higher powers in our, in, in our social and political and academic hierarchies is, you know, these hierarchies don't see us. These higher powers don't see us. So we really need to fix that and I don't think black people are ready to confront that because it's sad it's very sad it's very deep it's a very deep thing to confront which is why i think part of the reason why i write particularly about wealth and blackness is because of that i'm confronting you know our psychology you know i'm, I'm confronting our history how how we make sense of the world around us how we define success, how we, how we see ourselves as, as, as human beings in, 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 a, in a stratified society, you know. Um, and, and that's part of the work that black people, especially black people, middle class or middle to higher class need to, need to do. That's the work we need to do. This is Abner Akam reporting to you from Rhodes University. Hey! Hey!